Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how much value is too much value, and this is only going to be discussed in terms of Modern Masters 2017 because everything else has been kind of blah. I mean, we would never have this discussion for a regular set. Modern Masters 2017 has been fantastic. It has uh, Cavern of Souls, Tamagoyf, which was a huge surprise, Liliana, Snap, and so many other cards, including Zendikar, Enemy Fetchlands, Path to Exile, Inquisition of Kozilak at Uncommon. Overall, the value of this set is extremely good. It's extremely... It's a set that you want to buy. And that's the key here. The key is Wizard of Coast needs to sell boxes. That's how they make money. They don't make money from the secondary market all that often. They don't make money from selling you singles. They make money from people opening packs and buying boxes. That's the funnel. That is the sales funnel. So when we talk about Modern Masters, I don't believe there can be too much value ever put in a set. And the reason is the set will always, um, it will always balance itself out. Uh, meaning instead of a $90 Tarn, it will be like a 45. Instead of a $100 Tamagoy, it will go down to 70. The set always balances itself out because if it did not, then no one would ever get a box outside of a store because stores would just crack every single box they have and then sell these singles for a bigger profit. And that's why we see the expected value of a box at 220. Some people are saying it's 300, some people are saying it's some ridiculous number, but you have to take the number from the pre-orders today. Those are the single prices. So a ton of supply, Suppose everyone's expecting a ton of supply. Now, I would be, I would not hesitate to say Wizard Coast did a bad job if the supply is not in align with what people are expecting because then it creates a system where boxes will be above MSRP. I feel boxes should always be under MSRP because that's how, that's the way it should be uh, when you're buying from a local store or online. If a box is over MSRP, that means that local store is charging you through the nose. That means a profit margin of a local store. So if you buy a box, if a store buys a box for 140 from distribution or Wizards of Coast, and they sell it for 200, 240, they're still making 100 bucks. If they're selling for 280, they're making $140. That's greedy. That to me is just a little greedy. They gotta um, get the price down and give it to the players. No one likes to pay for something more than MSRP, and Wizard of Coast knows this. Um, so in my opinion, you can never put too much value on a set like this. Am I absolutely surprised and amazed that the set has Tamogoy in it? Uh, that the set has every single card that you would really want, including Blood Moon. Zendikar Fetchlands were a surprise, though it was a pleasant surprise. It wasn't like something that we didn't know could happen. It was just something that's extremely unlikely. I, my gut feeling tells me things at Wizard of Coast have changed. People have been fired, people have been laid off, and overall they, they have hired a real digital team to replace whoever's doing Magic Online, and that is a good sign. Um, we have a CEO, he comes from Microsoft. I'm sure he comes from a different culture than Wizard of the Coast, which is kind of like, oh no, we can't do that, let's not reprint that. I mean, how many times have we asked for damnation to only get it now? And what has really changed? Like what, what has changed? Um, we Damnation could have been put into multiple commander decks. It could have been put into multiple Modern Masters. Modern Masters uh, 2015 would have been a good home for it. Uh, it could have been put in... I mean, they had From the Vault Annihilation and it wasn't in that set. I guarantee you it wasn't because they forgot about it, um, but now it's being reprinted. Now we have a different CEO uh, who looks like he's more interested in making it a player game. Well, when you compare Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, and I'm going to get into a second video, they not just reprint the cards, they reprint the entire set. So you can get a pack of Blue Eyes White Dragon uh, booster, pa booster pack right now from one of those like legendary collections in Walmart, or you used to be able, I saw them all the time at Walmart, and I was like, oh, wow, they reprinted uh, the first boost pack. Now, it's not first edition or anything like that, but at the same time, that is, you know, it had Rajeki, it had really good cards in it. I think Rajeki is banned, 
and it was just pretty cool that you could just open an old pack and not really pay out the notes for it. Um, because if you buy an old pack in Magic, it's coming from a vendor uh, who has put up you know, some huge amount of margin on the pack. It's no longer the $4 that the MSRP was at the time, it's now whatever they can get from you. I, I hope uh, Modern Masters is something to come. I hope that is um, an indication of good things to come and I'm very no, whatever Magic Digital Next is, I am going to support it. I do have faith in that product. And at the end of the day, like, you can never put, too, in my personal opinion, you can never put too much value in a reprinted set. Um, there's no there's no amount, you know, people are saying, oh, there's too much value. To, at, at that point, if you play this, if you play Magic just to play and not to worry about your collection, not worry about you, and you just worry about the community as a whole to grow modern, then yes, you do want to see as much value put in these sets and you do want to see the prices tank uh, because that means more people can get involved. Anyway, bye guys.